Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of September 9th through the 15th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, somebody was at the door. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus energy. All right, we have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I love this. We have the Moon, which is your energy, the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Cancer, I feel like this week something is really just going in your way. I feel like you are... I feel like there's something that you've manifested that you're finally involved in. So for some of you, you could still be waiting for a manifestation or it's kind of like you're seeing bits and pieces coming together of this manifestation. I feel like with the moon and the ace of swords, whatever has been unclear or whatever has been a mystery is becoming very clear to you this week. Again, I feel like that nine of pentacles speaks to some sort of um, satisfaction, validation. I feel like you're feeling really good about this. It's like there's a really strong sense of confidence here. Um, so let's just go ahead and see what this is about. Let's clarify the moon. And we have the empress, which is that divine feminine energy. We have the five of pentacles, the sun, which is Leo and the queen of wands. So I feel like this could be about you realizing that something is not missing. For whatever reason, I feel like the Five of Pentacles coming through here represents the fact that maybe you thought you had lost something. Maybe you thought that something went missing. Maybe you thought that something was going to go a different way and it was going to leave you on the losing end. But I feel like what you are discovering this week and the reason why things are going in your way is because you're actually going to see that there is no lack of anything. There's an abundance of it. So that Queen of Wands, she is thriving. She has a flower next to her because you know there's beauty in the um i feel like she's just seeing the beauty of life right and for someone to be in that energy and to see the beauty and to you know want to be surrounded by things like that like they they're not going to have a lack mentality so with that sun card also you see, we see you know these sunflowers in the back i don't know why i'm paying attention to the flowers so much but i think it's because there's some there's somewhat of a connection there between that flower and these flowers right they're both sunflowers um, it's kind of speaking to really being able to see the brighter side of something. So I feel like that's what's happening this week is you are seeing the brighter side because whatever's being revealed to you is letting you know that there is no lack of anything. And I think that that's going to just give you um, just such a sense of relief. Maybe that's also why the queen of, not the queen, but the nine of pentacles is showing up here because she also feels this way. She feels good. She feels confident. She has what she needs. She doesn't feel like there's a lack of anything. Let's clarify the magician. Seven of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're manifesting or you have been manifesting in order to get out of a situation that was depleting your energy. So we have this Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Devil, which is Capricorn, to further clarify that magician. So with that Devil, with that Ten of Swords, I get the idea, Cancer, that you were dealing with a very negative or toxic situation in the recent past. So what you manifested was a way through or a way out of that. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, there might have been some feelings of doubt in the recent past. Like maybe you thought that this was going to be more of a challenge. But again, this week, I feel like you're just getting the confirmation that you are going to be successful in getting away from this energy or being able to somehow overcome whatever is happening. So I just feel like this week is all about you getting that sense of relief. I feel like this is you seeing that things are actually working out for you, that your manifestation is, you know, coming to fruition. Just lots of really positive energies coming through. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. king of swords yeah something about this also kind of says that you will be able to call the shots from now on i feel like what you're getting here um, with this ace of swords is a sense of power in a way not necessarily power over someone else but power over your own life i feel like you're going to be empowered right that's really the term is that empowerment to say you know what i feel like i want to do this um, the king of swords does not take orders he just orders 
right? He is able to make his life what he wants. Um, and maybe for some of you, you work in an environment where there are other people involved. Maybe you do have to kind of take a stand and, you know, kind of delegate. But I just get the sense, Cancer, that you're not going to be limited by someone else anymore or you're going to have more authority over your situation. We have the Six of Cups, the Lovers, which is Gemini, and the Hermit, which is Virgo. I kind of feel like with the Lovers, with the Six of Cups, maybe some of you are also walking away from some sort of dependent kind of situation because we are in Virgo season. I, I kind of get the feeling that, you know, this could be connected to you having some sort of an epiphany um, recently where like maybe you realize that someone was maybe not in your, not acting in your best interest. And I kind of feel like whatever's being revealed to you is all connected to you seeing the truth or, you know, kind of like the reality um, about this person or the situation. So this lover's card, the six of cups, this hermit, it's like you're seeing beyond or you're seeing through something in order to detach from it, in order to not be fooled by it. It's like you're doing a lot of introspection, really looking within, seeing the situation objectively. So it's like you're freeing yourself from something. All right, let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Three of Wands, yeah. And then we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus, Ace of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So I definitely feel like this week you're getting some sort of confirmation about you being able to walk or go through um, some sort of different path here. I feel like with the Three of Cups and the Hierophant, you're going to also be able to connect to maybe someone or a group of people that have your similar vision or ideas or beliefs about this. I kind of feel like your commitments are going to grow stronger um, because you're going to have more of an opportunity to spend quality time with others. Kind of like you've been really restricted in the recent past in how you've been able to spend your time, maybe because of someone trying to control your time or your life in general but i kind of get the feeling that this week you're going to be able to expand what you want to do you're going to have a lot of ideas you're going to have a lot of moments of creativity because i feel like you're finally getting the liberty to make the kinds of connections and do the kinds of things that you really want without anyone restricting you so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one